I was pumping the videos all throughout the year. For what? For a couple likes and this and that. And I mean, I know people don't do it for the money, but when you when you look at the the, the higher spectrum of what's going on, everybody should be paid. If if I was in charge, from the minute someone watches your video, you're gonna get like say, let's not be too hasty here, but I don't know, maybe a dollar for a view. Make you make make you feel like you know, I wanna post all day. I don't care who's watching. I don't care who's. But why would they do that? They would never give you more than they're getting. You know, all these apps are the same. They start you off like this, then they change it like that. They change. Someone used to say, an update, an update. I said, what the hell is an update? Then as time went on, I started to realise, this is a computer game, man. All this shit is just literally like playing Xbox PlayStation, it's the same shit. You get to a level, you can't clock it because the game's cheating. So when I heard, I said, oh, shadow band. I was like, what? What's that word? Shadow band? And I was like, oh. Now, in the beginning, I was wondering, like, why my videos are not being, like, watched that much. I mean, people are getting millions of views on here. Like, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? That's the first thing I started saying to myself, like, what's going on? But then I was like, you know what? What do you expect? They got the slaves at the bottom doing all their work. They're getting paid when they sleep, waking up to money, and people are still going back and forth, making me say, oh, it's just for fun, it's just for fun. Now, I'm not saying there's, there's nothing wrong with it, but I'm just saying, like, you know, sometimes you have to get wise and realise that like, you're being used, you're just a pawn, you're just a puppet in the game, and you know, and then going back to what I was saying, that's why people should work together and stop, you know, fussing, fighting, being jealous, whatever, whatever, it doesn't count. Yeah, if society would fail without the bottom. We, we need, we need, we, we are important people, and we're watching people like celebrities or whoever and they're trying to make us feel that these people are more important than us so everybody's fighting to get to there but then they're forgetting about like we're down here and we need to you know support each other help each other no second chances <laughs> oh yeah these days everyone wants to win a game that isn't a game but in fact a reality that gives uh, that gives yeah no second yeah it's true it's true man I mean Dante you know me from um, live me you know you've seen how I broadcast I mean people don't know me here like that but you know you know me bro you know you've seen the kind of people who just coming in J J J, and you know I take a break it's getting a bit too much. And anyway. Oh shit, something dropped, guys. I mean, I don't know what the hell that was, but it was really loud. I don't know if that was the wind, but if the wind blew all that down in the house, shit. Because I'm just hearing the wind blowing shit, like, you know. It's crazy, isn't it? The wind has just been crazy this week. Um, it's just, uh, I don't know how much miles per hour the wind is, but I have not heard the wind like that in ages. I think it's no less than 30 to 40 miles an hour maybe 50 <laughs> you're on top live Jay. what does that mean what does top lives mean sorry I don't know does that mean you're at the top what, what is that I 
I'm noticing these view, people coming in, but um, whatever. I might have mentioned it before, but at this point, it's not practically just a game of arrogance. Yeah, yeah. I mean, any crazy man? Like sometimes the the people with the most to say. The the that could actually make a difference. They're always overlooked until someone notices them and then helps them maybe to get there to do this to do that but it's crazy because sometimes the people around them because you know i like to say it like this but if you look at life you've got government you've got you've got institutions there's always going to be somebody who's the voice for the people or a group of people and I think in this society, you know, we have to come together, especially in these times, whether you're in America, Australia, it doesn't matter where you are, because, you know, universal love can spread all around the world. And, um, you know, there's something I'm really interested in. But I find people are not interested in this stuff. They're just interested in quick money moves, I mean, I'm not saying I don't need to make money. Of course I do. But I'm not going to... Do you mind me asking what you do? Well, at the minute, I'm not working at the minute. But um, when I was working and when I have been working, I've done construction. Um, uh, what else have I done? Retail. I've done carpentry painting, demolition, gardening, it's kind of somebody who tries to do everything, yeah, that's me, it's it's supposed to say, a jack of all trades, but a master of none, oh wow, you know, that is what I wanted to do, joinery, but that was another thing, my life was just, I could just never really just knuckle down, you know, and just decide, look, this is what I'm going to do. It was always like, I was jumping from one thing to another. i I done window cleaning as well. I've just done so many odd different jobs and I never really was happy in any of them. And it's crazy because jack of all traders, or in my words, J of all trades. Yeah, I just, I, I think I found my calling card though. And um, I, don't, I don't think it's just social media, but I think this is a way I can, like, uh, you know, voice my, my voice. And in a crazy way, it's therapy as well, because this is what I noticed. I was working hard, you know, 40 hours a week, six days a week. Something that bothered me was uh, the way time was just speeding. And first week, second week, third week, fourth week, no problem. You see, coming the sixth week, I started to realise I'm losing myself, you know what I mean? Like, I've got my daughter, I can't just go anytime I want because I'm so tired and... You know, the work is just excruciating sometimes. And then, you know, when you go get up on that Saturday, sometimes you just, your body is just drained. There's no energy. And you're just forcing yourself. And I always say to people, I'm very good outside in the summer. But when it comes to the winter, I'm no good. So I always knew my weaknesses and my strengths. But um, it just hit me one day. I can't remember what it was. I was like, I just need to see what I can really do. And it's it's crazy because it's like a, doing a whole 360, coming on the social media and then realising, yeah, I can do YouTube, but when you're self-taught, you didn't, you don't know, I didn't know, this is how you make this video. I didn't, it's the smallest things I didn't actually know that if I never actually, what do you want to do? I want to just, um, what, I'm, this is me, I'll be honest with you, 
I don't I wouldn't define what I want to do because it as I said with my whole life it's always been you know from one thing to another all I know is I enjoy talking I have a passion for talking so that's probably my life now you know that's what I'm working towards how can I I wouldn't say I mean I don't want to just get paid for talking but then it won't be a job so I have to strategize how I'm going to turn this into a job you know but I will say this you can't put all your eggs in one basket yes yeah I, I'm on I'm on an app like that and this is why I got all this equipment because um, that's what I'm trying to do um, funny enough I got some podcasts out you know but this is the thing it's hard because even when I started my YouTube I had all these friends right and what I noticed was now I'm not a begging type of person I'm not like oh can you do this for me can you do that for me but I noticed nobody was sharing my stuff and I was like oh my god like this is why why you have to work 50 times harder because if you don't get new subscribers on youtube you don't get people liking your videos it, it's not that it's pointless but it's just like you're not really achieving what you want to achieve if you know what i'm saying because when you put so much time into stuff like you know no one's paying you you're not getting anything for it and it's not about the money, it's just about like, you know, you've got bills to pay sometimes and stuff to do and commitments and you got to live. And I think that that really got me thinking about how can I change it? Like, maybe it was me just being too relaxed and not using my business brain because I didn't, I didn't want to like, you know, flex on people. I didn't want to be like, look, I want this for that. I think you should do this for me. I think you should give me that. I didn't want to do that. But then I realised, if I don't take control, what's going to happen? I'm just going to keep floating on, working for free. Well, there's nothing wrong with working for free, but it's just like, you know, if I, if I want to make it into something, I can't. It's like, it's impossible. I would love to talk all day for free, but Corona's come, bills are skyrocketed up, and, you know, I've never begged for money since I've been on social media, ever. Never. It doesn't matter what I was going through, what I didn't have, what I had, whatever it was. I just never asked for the coins, the diamonds, nothing. I just always, if people want to give me something, I appreciate it. But I'm not going to. And then, then again, people may look at me and think, oh, this guy doesn't need nothing. He sits on a chair. He's a king, isn't he? <laughs> I just because they think like oh, he's living the life of Riley but you know I've got a lot of responsibilities so all may look well and all is well but when you've got so many things you've got to do and responsibilities and that's